Hello everyone, my name is Beagle and welcome to episode 13 of my Minecraft world and today I present to you <laughs> this hill I did this uh, hill or mountainous thing, wall type of structure during a live stream between this and the last episode and its main purpose was to hold the structure that will be on top of it which will hold the system array which we built in the last episode of course which has been working pretty decently but I then realized something I went through a lot of ideas about base building and all of that and I decided to change up the big dig once again so what this whole purpose will be now is actually it will hold a lake in the middle here this will be all a lake I will build this in of course but this will hold a, a lake this will still be a mob farm that will be a little bit in the air instead of in the ground now and here will be well the collection system will be underground but I was thinking maybe we could do it like in the water uh, somehow <laughs> maybe if we use barrels I mean you can still use chests underwater uh, but I'm kinda afraid that water logging might destroy some of the redstone and chests are like full blocks you know I mean barrels so yeah lots of speculations but not really much will be done with this thing as of right now but to later today I will stream and I will prepare this whole thing for future use so it will be ready to be filled up with a water so that will be fun but anyways today's project uh, actually before that is uh, said I wanna come over here <clears throat> also this will be a river that will go like this into here which I decided to do something with this place so if you just let me in for a second I did this pathway in this hill here and I marked out some things in this place and what this place is this since we are not going to do the big dig base anymore I decided that this place is pretty good for a storage system so yeah all of my chests will be here these will be silo chests so these ones will hold most of the like if I have lots of stone I can use the silo to store it instead of using a bunch of double chests which will be here these signalize double chests and I can I think they'll go like one two three four five six so like this is the middle and five on each side five double chests and not just like a row but also I will stack them on top of each other so no redstone automation there I've been always just thinking how I wanna automate my sorting but I don't really have enough stuff that I would need to sort it so yeah but anyway one more thing that happened during the live stream was that I died in the lava in the big dig area and I lost my trident but luckily my elytra did survive so you can go watch that if you wanna see me <laughs> suffer but yeah this thing needs to be a lot nicer than it is right now and I have some ideas that I wanna use here and I did collect a bunch of wood this was off camera not on stream so I'll just grab myself some materials and I can get to experimenting alright I think these are basically the correct dimensions of the house at least that's how I planned it uh, yeah so it will be an L shape so this will be the technical side that will be like 
you know, you I won't really be going there unless there's a problem with redstone or something. And this will be the main interface area, so this one is the one that actually needs to look nice. And what I'm going to do first is get myself some spruce planks. And this will be the floor. So, somewhat like this, I guess. Okay, so that will be the platform that I'll be able to walk on. But I wanted to give this kind of like a terrace that I'll be able to walk on before I go actually into the, sh uh, not shop, the building. Let me grab this up. Because, uh, yeah, I'll just do temporary stairs for now because I need to figure out what kind of stairs I want. So you can come from here, like this, and you can go into the building. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. I also opted today to go for like a different recording method because usually when I build I just make a time lapse of it and this way I don't know it might be more interesting might be less when I just do kind of like a progress update or maybe when I speculate about something and yeah I don't know but anyway huh some ideas are powering through my head, I gotta try them. Yeah, I also got myself a maximized netherite pickaxe after I died because I lost my diamond one. So yeah, just pointing it out and the build is coming along slowly. So I've been messing around with the front face of the building for a while now and yeah. I think it's starting to look pretty cool. I never built something like this before. I never built houses, I always built caves and hills. Stuff like that. Monuments like that. Not, no real buildings. This is starting to look cool. I like it. Nice. Yeah, by the way, I started terraforming this side of the hill. So this is kind of the feel I'm going for. There is still lots of flat space here and here. So I'll have to run around the whole thing a few times until I'm happy with it. And yeah, I mean, it's starting to look pretty cool. It will be much nicer when I finish it and add the other part of it and connect it up. That's when it's going to look very nice in my opinion. Okay, the front face is starting to look better and better. And what you can see I did here is... It's kind of subtle. I don't know if you're... Ac Hello. I don't know if you can actually see it. But I attempted to create a texture within a chaotic texture, if that makes sense. So... You can see that in this spruce frame there is andesite stone brick, andesite stone brick, which is always the same, yet what it contains here, these two columns of blocks, they are randomly texturized to create kind of this old feeling, you know? But yeah, it kind of, I don't know, it fra it's like a double frame, and I kind of like it. Like, Oh, <laughs> if you come here, this is a cool looking front of a building, in my opinion. Yeah, and with everything, every step I make, the interior is getting smaller and smaller. So I don't know how I'll handle that. Guess I'll see. With another side done, I am starting to really get a nice feel for this building. I think it just looks so cool. I mean, I really like it. I don't know how I came up with this, because I didn't really... I mean, this is... I'm, what I'm telling is that this is my original idea. So it, it, it didn't just get in inspired. Most of the stuff I built is inspired by someone like that thing 
this is inspired by one of Green's videos. But this, I mean, yeah. It's looking pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta move this whole thing by one block. Ah, can't wait until I build something really big. And I realize that I have to move it by one block. <laughs> yeah, I'm really gonna do some big maths before I attempt something big. Alright, so the build is coming along very well. I decided to take some time in the interior and it works out perfectly. So you come in, you can quickly get access to what you just smelted and if you haven't smelted anything, you just come here and here is the fuel and here is the input. And I gotta say, I'm really enjoying working on the interior here. I kind of like the mix that outside is the v made with spruce logs and the inside has oak. It has very nice contrast. And I'll just add some railing over here. And yeah, not there. Alright, so I added some more things to the interior. And here will be the actual way to my redstone uh, side of things, of the building and now I gotta figure out all of these things because yeah I cannot put stuff here so I gotta make gotta make use of the space somehow and conceal it but that's for later now I should start working on the walls again all right I gotta do a quick fly around and yep that's looking kind of cool not really what I would expect to pop up on this island but you know I, I think it's good good looking I don't really I mean, I did want to have a theme, like only oak logs, you know, only certain types of blocks to have a block palette, but this whole, the top of this hill, and what's going to be over there, which I'm not going to spoil, of course, <laughs> is going to break up the whole oak thing, because it's going to be with, made with spruce. Die, hidden. Yeah. Oh, I can so hit this. Nice. I am starting to plan out the roof. It's pretty difficult, not gonna lie. Very difficult. But manageable. So the plan for the roof is... Is that... The rim will be wooden but the top will actually be stone and there will be chimneys coming like from the furnaces <laughs> I guess that would make sense and I'm not enough I'm not good enough with the leech rust so let me ah nice okay so I'll just plan out this roof and hopefully it goes well and what I came up with is a not bad looking roof, but not exactly what I wanted to. I actually wanted to go higher, but I think that even if I do go higher, then there's not really much I can do with the space up there. I can definitely do something with it, but yeah, and I might even get burnt out. If I do that so I want to do that instead I'll focus on actually building the roof and I mean if it's really atrocious I can rebuild it in the end oh I just realized something <laughs> oh no the roof is it has to be different on this side how in the ever loving whatever Am I actually going to do that? I'm not I'm not good enough a builder to do that. 
Uh, not nor mathematician, because this will involve some heavy maths. Jesus Christ, what did I put myself into? I really don't want to get rid of this, of this roof or rim or whatever, because I think it's going to look, look so cool when I'll manage to pull it off. But yeah. Oh, so what I gotta do to connect this to this is I got actually some, I gotta make it the same height, that's definite, but I gotta make some ninjutsu magic over there when it connects up that it actually looks good. So these roofs can be different, it's that part that's going to mess everything up when I get to it. All right, um, does this work? <laughs> I think that's a pretty good replica. It's just thinner than this. That's all there is to it. I mean, I kind of like it. I actually... wait. I actually like it more than that one. <laughs> Interesting. And it's quite a mob farm, I gotta go from out. I gotta go despawn all of the mobs and then sleep. And slowly and but surely, I am running out of rockets to fly with. And my uh, my riptide got lost in lava. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And my game lagged. Okay. All right. Since I am too afraid to actually fill this in without any feedback I might show this build to someone and f what I gotta ask them what they f how they feel about the roof god it's so ha difficult for me to speak today for some reason but yeah so I'll grab myself some of these stairs and pop Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready to do a test. How does this look with a rim? Better. Honestly, I think it actually looks better now. Okay, interesting, interesting. So what I'll try to do is connect up uh, because this is the outer rim, I wanna have an inner rim too a inner rim and if I'll manage to hit this oh wait oh wait now if I'll manage <laughs> to make this somehow look good because this is a one block center, this is a slab Oh wait, 97 po Yeah, I... Oh, I have to have it like this, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh god. Oh, I gotta figure something out, give me a sec. Alright, I am ready to do a tester. Lord have mercy on my kind soul. How am I supposed to, to do this roof? I never built a... I like to call this sharp roof because they shave up in the end and I mean the rim is looking pretty good especially from this side I really like this side in the end but yeah uh, how <laughs> how do I fill this up I mean uh, okay I cannot do that today because yeah I've been recording for an hour and a half I mean, for an hour and a half, this is a pretty cool looking build in my opinion. But again, it's just my opinion, of course. And... Yeah. There's not really much else I wanna do. Besides check up on my farms. So, let's see how much stuff did my pumpkin and melon farm in half an... 
one and a half an hour because I did I did clear it up before the end of the episode, and the results are pretty good, pretty damn good. So yeah, the melons are doing pretty well. I added actually more melons into there because I need more melons to trade with, with villagers. And yeah, let me try to get in a position where I can look at the build. Oh, that's looking pretty nice. I like how it's elevated on top of this. Oh yeah, I, I totally missed one thing. I actually need to make a way up <laughs> to this thing. God damn. Alright. I have enough of time for that. That should take just a while. Or at least mark it out. Alright, so the way up, at least the first way up, because I might do more, is the here. It will be here. Uh, and that's kind of a problem. Oddly enough. Because I'm gonna build a thing here and it's going to be quite a tight squeeze into the over here's so yeah I gotta be really really mindful of the space I'm using over here and this is quite a large pillar that will go upwards so yeah let me grab some spruce so as I'm building these pylons or pylons or just the structure of the staircase that will lead upwards, I realize something. And it's a few things that I realized. First of all, I might move this. I might move this so it lines up over here so you kinda like end up over here and it will cut through my base, basically. So you just can come over here and there will be staircase. And there will be kind of like a pathway around there for a cave. Great idea in my opinion. That's cool and all. The problem is that I forgot that I haven't. I haven't filled up the rest of this thing. So I gotta do that really quickly. I'm kind of forgetting that I'm on a customly built hill. And yeah. I'll get to work soon, base. You'll be finished very soon. Well, finished. And it's also not a real mega base. It's just a, you know, base. A temporary one in a nature, you could say. Because that is not going to hold all of the stuff that I want to have. <laughs> that is for sure. I mean, this building is kind of looking more like a tavern rather than a blacksmith but I'm fine with that <laughs> so I built up the staircase that would lead up below the tavern and yeah uh, <laughs> I gotta figure something out but I am now truly out of time for this episode so I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next wow